Hello, my name's Stephen. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today in the reading of chapter 18, the book of Proverbs. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Verse 1. Unfriendly people care only about themselves, and they lash out at common sense. Fools have no interest in understanding, they only want to air their own opinions. Doing wrong leads to disgrace, and scandalous behavior brings contempt. Wise words are like deep waters. Wisdom flows from the wise like a bubbling brook. It is not right to acquit the guilty or deny justice to the innocent. Fools' words get them into constant quarrels. They are asking for a beating. The mouth of fools are their ruin and they trap themselves with their lips. Rumors are dainty morsels that sink deep into one's heart. A lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe. The rich think of their wealth as a strong defense and they imagine it to be a high wall of safety. Haughtiness goes before destruction. Humility precedes honor. Spouting off before listening to the facts is both shameful and foolish. The human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear a crushed spirit? Intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Giving a gift can open doors. It gives access to important people. The first to speak in court sounds right until the cross-examination begins. Flipping a coin can end arguments. It settles disputes between powerful opponents. An offended friend is harder to win back than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with bars. Wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The tongue can bring death or life, and those who love to talk will reap the consequences. The man who finds a wife finds treasure, and he receives favor from the Lord. The poor plead for mercy, the rich answer with insults. There are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother. Amen. Thank you for joining me today in the reading of Proverbs 18, and I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow for the next chapter. Thank you.